Hi everyone. We are going to find retrieving long documents. In our examples thus far, the documents retrieved have been simple and short HTML files. Let us next see what happens when we download a long HTML file. Do the following. Start up your web browser, and make sure your browser's cache is cleared, as discussed. Before performing the steps below, make sure your browser's cache is empty. To do this under Firefox, select Tools-Clear Recent History and check the cache box. Or for Internet Explorer, select Tools-Internet Options-Delete File. These actions will remove cached files from your browser's cache. Start up the Wireshark Packet Sniffer. Enter the following URL into your browser. Your browser should display the rather lengthy US Bill of Rights. Stop Wireshark Packet Capture and enter HTTP in the Display Filter Specification window, so that only captured HTTP messages will be displayed. In the Packet Listing window, you should see your HTTP GET message, followed by a multiple packet TCP response to your HTTP GET request. In the case of our HTTP GET, the entity body in the response is the entire requested HTML file. In our case here, the HTML file is rather long, and at 4500 bytes is too large to fit in one TCP packet. The single HTTP response message is thus broken into several pieces by TCP with each piece being contained within a separate TCP segment. Now we are going to find How many HTTP GET request messages did your browser send? Which packet number in the trace contains the GET message for the bill or writes? My browser sent two HTTP GET requests to the server. The packet that contained the GET message was packet number 1290 and 1336. Which packet number in the trace contains the status code and phrase associated with the response to the HTTP GET request? The packet that contains the status code and phrase which the server sent. In response to the GET message was packet number 1352. What is the status code and phrase in the response? The code and phrase in the response was 200 OK. How many data containing TCP segments were needed to carry the single HTTP response and the text of the Bill of Rights?
The data was sent in four TCP segments to the browser, then reassembled. Thank you for watching.